Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the trailer for Spider-Man 3. Although I'm pretty much sure you saw it. Because if you haven't, I find it pretty funny. Seriously though, watch it like right now before you see it. I'm going to give you like two seconds to go. Hello there and welcome to Schofield Studios. And today I'm going to make a theory about Spider-Man 3. If you don't know, yesterday, last night... There was a trailer for Spider-Man 3, and let me just tell you, it was awesome, it was amazing, blow my mind away. But there is some stuff in it that I find pretty interesting. So today, I'm going to talk about it, how Doctor Strange, one of the characters of the film, and one of the most popular Marvel characters in the whole MCU, can actually be the bad guy of this film, and actually might not be the character we know, but an imposter. Tell me in the comments if you agree with this theory or if you have any other theories about this film. Now sit back, relax, and let's begin. So I actually have two theories. One is that Mr. Strange, Doctor, sorry, Doctor Strange is an imposter. And the other one is that Doctor Strange in this trailer is Mysterio. Now to go back, as you see in the last movie, turns out everyone now knows about Spider-Man being Peter Parker. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. And now his life is getting ruined. People around him are getting hurt. So as seen in this trailer, he goes to Doctor Strange for help. Now, Doctor Strange has always been pretty serious in the MCU. He always uh, tried to protect, protect the universe and was no-nonsense type of guy, but that's not him in this trailer. For whatever reason, he casts a very, very dangerous spell um, that can ruin humanity and almost destroy the Earth and open up the multiverse. Strange, don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. But he just does it anyways. That is kind of strange that he would do such a powerful spell just for someone who wants to not be known as Spider-Man. That, that would be a pretty strange thing for this particular character to do. That's a very big character shift. And then for the rest of the trailer, we can actually see Doctor Strange fighting Spider-Man, like actually fighting him in this film. Which is pretty weird because why would he be fighting him? And then also he talks about it, it being his fault, even though he is the one who casts the spell. And then at the end of the trailer, he says, be careful what you wish for. Seems like something a villain would say, doesn't it? So, yeah, I predict that this guy is an imposter. How? Why? Is he a scroll? No, I actually think he's from another universe. Now that the multiverse has opened up, I don't think it opened up from this particular spell, but from Loki. So, I think that Doctor Strange came into this universe, the MCU, and then you know, took over the other Doctor Strange. That would actually make sense. So then he replaces the other Doctor Strange after killing him or maybe putting him in his universe. And then he is a Doctor Strange. And he tries to destroy the whole multiverse by doing the spell. And he needs a reason for it. So he waits for Spider-Man to come. That would make a lot of sense. Of course, there's also some other hints that he might be an imposter. For instance, all over the entire trailer, he feels like a totally different character, being a little bit um, more humorous than actually making some jokes. In in Fanny War, he's more serious, so it's a very big character leap, and he doesn't even feel like the character we've seen like two years ago. One thing this would also explain is why he didn't interfere with the events of WandaVision. Of course, a witch creating a spell and taking captive a whole town 
would probably have him come in to stop Paula. But he doesn't because, well, the imposter came in and maybe killed him or put in another universe. So yeah, it, it, the multiverse opens up and this is an imposter. This is another version of Doctor Strange that looks exactly like him. I not exactly like him. The Doctor Strange in this movie has different clothing and looks a little bit different than the one in the MCU. Still played by Kenneth Cumberbatch, but still, just some things looks very different about him. Another reason for this can actually be Mysterio. Now, there is a question of whether the Sinister Sits will show up, which is a big Spider-Man of, of villains, which is supposed to have Electro. Of course, Mysterio, which is a part of this theory. Doc Ock, who is seen in the trailer, and Green Goblin, who is also seen in the trailer. And remember, I'm not an expert on this. I just have to watch lots and lots of videos for people to explain the MCU to me because at this point there's like 31 movies. But anyways, and Electro's lightning is seen in the trailer too. All three of these characters who are in the Sinister Sits have hints in this trailer and two of them even have proof that they're there and one of them just shows up right there. But I think Mysterio is alive. For him to die in the second movie and him being Jake Gyllenhaal and all, and Jake Gyllenhaal is a great actor. Marvel wouldn't want to waste for one movie. I think this is Mysterio in disguise. Or at least Mysterio's team. I mean, his team is still out there. And, well, he they probably want to get Spider-Man for what he did. So, Mysterio is Doctor Strange. Or Doctor Strange is an imposter. Tell me in the comments if you agree with this series. If you like them. Also tell me in the comments any movies you want me to review in the future. Or any movies you want me to put a theory out for. I actually have a theory about uh, Willy Wonka being a cannibal. If you liked our theories like that. So I'll do that. But anyways thanks for watching.